to the channel of Kanak Infosystems. In this video, we are going to see the functionality of POS Pizza Modifiers module in Odoo. The Odoo POS is a very interactive, efficient and easy to use system which offers complete management of all your business transactions at a single place. Many restaurants also use this Odoo POS for managing their customer and sales transactions. We also get the option to customize our Odoo POS according to our preferences with the help of some useful add-ons. One such useful add-ons is Pizza Modifiers by Kanak Infosystems. POS Pizza Modifier is a very useful Odoo add-on for customizing your POS restaurant sales for pizza. Its main highlights are its ability to add modifiers to your pizza products and other foods and offer side products such as cold drinks, dessert cakes, etc. along with your main pizza product. And the most important feature and the useful feature is the ability to customize your pizza based on different portions. So in case we want the left side of our pizza with different modifiers and right side of our pizza with different modifiers, we can do this with the help of POS pizza modifiers. We can also maintain the portions like first quarter, second quarter, third quarter and fourth quarter of our pizza with the help of this POS pizza modifier module. So let us start by seeing the functionality of this module. So first of all what we will do is we will create modifiers. Modifiers are nothing but toppings or any other additional customization that you want to do to your pizza. So we will create products which are the modifiers which we will add to our pizza. So first I have created a product named cheese which is our modifier and I have created two variants. For example, I offer two type of modification for my pizza. First is adding extra cheese to my pizza and second is adding cheese burst. The second modifier that I have created is the toppings modifier. What this means is that I offer four different type of toppings to be added as a modifier to my pizza. These are corn, tomato, capsicum and onion. I can also add non-veg toppings like chicken, ham etc to my pizza as a modifier. So first what we have to do is we have to create a modifier for our pizza. Now let us move to the next part that is we will create a group of these modifiers. For example in this case I will create a group and name it as pizza toppings and I will add the cheese and toppings modifier to this modifier group. Now what we have done is we have created a group named pizza toppings which include the modifiers that can be added to the pizza. Now let us create a pizza product. I have already created a pizza product for my POS. Now as we can see here we have many boolean fields that are enabled here. First is the is modifier product. We need to enable this field so that we can add modifiers to our products. Next is display pieces. This is very important if you want to display your pizza and allow the customer to customize it based on different portions. So when I enable this display pieces field, the pizza will be shown as full size, left or right size or in four different quarters available for adding modifiers. We can add different modifiers on different portion. Now, after this configuration is done, what we will do is uh, we will create the variants. For example, I offer three different sizes of my pizza. First is regular, second is medium and third is large. We can add as many modifiers or as many variants of our pizza that we want. Now the next part is adding modifiers to this pizza product. I will click on this modifiers tab. I will click on edit. And here the modifiers group come handy because I will simply select the group for from which I want to add the modifiers and I will click on get modifier. So what this will do is it will add all the modifiers to my pizza. Now as we can see we have extra cheese, cheese burst, corn, tomato, capsicum and onion added as modifiers to our pizza. Now the next option that we have is to add side products to our pizza. 
as we can see here is the tab site products site products are nothing but the offerings that we can give along with a main pizza for example cold drinks cold coffee iced tea and dessert cakes etc so in this case i will just select this and also coca cola so i offer two type of site products along with my pizza now i will click on save and i'll make sure that it is available in pos now we are done with the customization here let us recall what we have done so far we have created modifiers for our product so that we can add these modifiers to our pizza next thing that we have done is we have added these modifiers to a modifier group and the next part is creating the main pizza product in this pizza product i have enabled is modifier product and enabled display pieces so i have also created variants of my pizza of different sizes added modifiers to this pizza and also added side products to my pizza now what we'll do is we will start the pos session to see how the sales work let me just click on new session and i can see the products that are available in pos and i will click on pizza and i will select the regular size pizza when i select the regular size pizza i get the variant options first is full pizza second is left or right half of the pizza and third is first second third and fourth quarter pizza so what this means is how we want the customization or the modification on our pizza do i want a full size customization that means all the modifiers that we will add will be added to the full size of the pizza i select left or right half so that i can add different modifiers for the left half and different modifiers for the right half third is selecting quarters so for example i want corn toppings in the first quarter i want tomato in the second quarter i want corn or onion in the third quarter and i want capsicum in the fourth quarter so these type of modification can be done with the help of this beautiful odoo add on pos pizza modifier so in this case let me just show you how to configure it i will click on left half and i will get all the modifiers that are available for me to add to my pizza so i will select extra cheese for the left half and i will add corn to my left half as a topping so as we can see extra cheese and toppings corn are added in half units to my left half now i will do is select the right half if we don't want any modifier on the right half we can simply click on done and move forward now i will click on right half and i want the tomato toppings on my right half and the capsicum toppings on my right half so i have added extra cheese and corn on the left half and tomato and capsicum on the right half after this is done i will click on done and here i have the option to add side products so i can click on sides and i will get the side products that i have added to my pos so in this case i have added coca cola and minute maid to my pizza so i will click on coca cola and this will be added to my pizza after this is done i can click on next item to select if i want any other item or i can simply move on to the payment page so my order is done and now let me move forward to the next part. i will click on payment and i will enter the amount and i will do the transaction and validate it so as we can see the receipt is fully customized with left half displaying the cheese and corn and the right half displaying tomato and capsicum along with the side product that we have added so as we saw using this beautiful odu add on we can offer full customization left or right customization or quarter wise customization to our pizza and maintain the customer satisfaction portal now the next question that arises is how can we maintain the stock or inventory of our products for example let us say we make a burger or a pizza by using some raw materials or ingredients for making a pizza the basic ingredients that i use are the pizza base or 
द पिज़्ज़ा स्प्रेड और चीज़ और एनी बेसिक टॉपिंग्स दैट वी एड टू अ पिज़्ज़ा सो वी ऑफर अनदर ब्यूटीफुल एड ऑन दैट इज़ पी ओ एस प्रोडक्ट बी ओ एम विच इज़ अ वेरी यूजफुल एड ऑन फॉर मेनटेनिंग द स्टॉक और इन्वेंट्री ऑफ योर प्रोडक्ट्स और फूड एट योर रेस्टोरेंट सो वॉट वी विल डू इज़ वी विल क्रिएट अ बिल ऑफ मटीरियल लाइक स्ट्रक्चर फॉर अवर प्रोडक्ट विच विल कस्टमाइज ऑफ द कॉम्पोनेंट्स दैट आर यूज फॉर क्रिएटिंग दैट प्रोडक्ट एंड देन वेन वी सेल दैट प्रोडक्ट और दैट फूड प्रोडक्ट द इन्ग्रीडियंट्स विल ऑटोमेटिकली बी हैंडल्ड इन द स्टॉक एंड विल बी डिडक्टेड बेस्ड ऑन वॉट वी हैव डिसाइंड इन द स्ट्रक्चर टू मेक इट क्लियर लेट मी जस्ट शो यू so let us suppose we want to define a structure for a pizza product so what we will do is we will enable this is pos bom product field what this will do is this will allow us to add this pizza and create a structure for this so when i click on save i will navigate to product and i will have pos product bom here i will click on it and here i can create the structure so let me just create a structure only those product in which the boolean field is true will be shown here so i have the option or the privilege to customize different structure for different variant of my pizza so suppose 250 grams of pizza spread is used in regular pizza and 300 grams of pizza spread is used in medium pizza we can customize this and maintain the stock with the help of this beautiful odu add on so i will click on pizza regular and i will add the components here so my first component will be the pizza base so i can define that for one unit or one quantity of pizza how much pizza base will be used so in this case one unit of pizza base will be used next what we have is we can define the pizza spread so for one quantity of pizza let us say we have 250 grams of pizza spread to be used so as we can see we can define the quantity in grams also here next what we will do is let us say we also add salt as a component to our pizza and we use let us say 100 grams of salt these are just normal here i select grams so i have added 100 grams of salt as a component to my pizza now what we have defined so far is that in a regular pizza a pizza base one unit is used a pizza spread 250 grams are used and a salt 100 gram is used so i'll click on save so when i sell this pizza or i can say this regular size of pizza automatically one pizza base 250 grams of pizza spread and 100 grams of salt will be automatically deducted from my inventory so let us just check the inventory right now for these products so in case of base i have 10 units on hand the pizza spread i have is 5 kg and the salt that i have is also 5 kg now let me just sell a regular pizza and see how the stock is updated i will before that what we need to do is we need to come confirm this structure so that if we want any modification in this we can do it so i will just click on confirm and our structure is now in confirmed state we can any time set it to draft or cancel and these buttons are only available to the point of sale managers the regular point of sale user can only view this structure but cannot make any modification in these structures so let us just sell this pizza and i'll select the regular size of pizza i want cheese burst in my pizza this time 
click on done and I'll just take a minute mid and click on next item. So I have done my order. I have selected a regular unit of pizza. And now what I will do is I will navigate to the payment and I will make the payment. So my order is done. Now let us check if the inventory is being updated. I will just refresh and I will check the inventory for the pizza base and here we have nine units of pizza base left for the spread we have 4.750 kg of pizza spread left and for the salt we have 4.900 kg of salt left so as we see according to the structure the stock is automatically updated and we have sale a pizza and maintain the inventory of the raw material or ingredients so that a well maintained system for a restaurant is keep now when we sell two units of pizza automatically 200 grams of salt will be deducted so it all always depends on the structure that we define and on how many units of pizza or the other food products that we are selling we can simply define another structure let us say what we want is we want to define a structure for a burger so first of all what we'll need to do is we'll navigate to the burger and we need to click on is POS BOM product and we'll click on save now I'll select the burger here and suppose I want to define for veg burger I can select the burger bun and if there's note we can simply create a new product burger bun storable product which is in units and I click on save next thing that I want to add is potatoes that will be used for making the burger and let us say we have the inventory of potatoes in kg so I can define how many units of potato will be used so let us say 200 grams of potato is being used we can define this in the structure in the same way I can create structure for my non veg burger or any food product that I have and the raw material and the ingredients will be automatically handled and our inventory will be maintained properly with the help of these if you want any other customization related to this pizza modifier or pizza BOM product we can offer you full customization this is one of the must have add-ons that you must have for your POS restaurants if you want any other customization related to Odoo, feel free to contact us. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.